Well, things are about to turn upside down here in Colorado. They have just announced that we're going into the red zone as far as the COVID. And that means we'll be going right back to having the restaurants shut down where nobody can eat inside. You can only eat outside if they have a patio. But right before Thanksgiving, there's so many people that depend on being able to go out and have a meal out at a restaurant. And it's not going to be accommodating too many people. They have decided, you know, they're telling the high school kids and the college students that they should learn remotely or by virtual, um, you know, online. And I don't know how that's going to fly if the temperature goes back down to seven degrees. You won't see too many people eating out. And I guess people will just have to come pick up their food like they did for several months back in the spring. And our Democratic governor just keeps doing this over and over. It gets really old and... Um, I think it's pretty sad that America has come to this situation in this point. You know, I am going to be spending my first Thanksgiving without my home and not being able to cook with my mom like I always did. And she was always a wonderful cook. It's pretty devastating to me. You know, I... I'm not going to have any holidays that are ever going to be the same. And this past week, I had a lot of uh, emotions dealing with it coming up and Christmas coming up because it's just, it's very depressing because I always used to love to pick things out for my mom and wrap them up and surprise her. And now I just, I can't shop for her. I can't do anything. Last year, I bought a LED angel. <laughs> for her and wrapped it up with her name on it but anyway I unwrapped it and plugged it in and everything <sighs> when your mom's a really good cook and you're used to cooking meals together to not even be able to be in your home or cook in her oven or anything ever again it's a lot of adjustment a lot of disappointment and I know there's people in worse situations I'm just trying to climb out of the one that I'm in <laughs> um, you know it's it's kind of weird how you can have a book in Harvard University Library and not get any proceeds from that or any kind of royalties from that that'll help you live your life you know but that's the way it is, sadly, and um, I was trying to think of what else they put a, oh yeah, they put a 25% capacity at churches, that means only 50 people, and they said that all indoor gatherings were at 25% capacity, but now you are not allowed to have indoor gatherings. So I guess that means if you're planning a wedding, you might as well forget about it. <laughs> they said that, um, let's see, what else was there? Something at 75%. I can't remember. But um, happy hours bumping up from 10 p.m. to 8 p.m. That doesn't affect me. So I don't know what else is going to happen with other businesses. I, I believe that they said that there's going to be a limit, like to 10% capacity for businesses, that they'll only be able to have a very tiny percentage of people there at their business. So um, here we go again, right before the holidays, of course, and right before Thanksgiving. And uh, I, I'll probably be back. I wanted to do a video today and hoping to get something accomplished. <laughs> uh, 
um, trying to just deal with the disappointment of everything and finding that out and you know I don't really have a way of storing a bunch of food or anything like that so I just pretty much have to get a few items and make do and you know if things get worse things have been flying off the shelves I noticed the other day at the grocery store that a lot of the frozen foods are gone and I just was over at Target and their toilet paper supply was already almost completely gone so everybody's preparing for Friday the big day when they shut us down and you know anyway I just want to live in the free country of America that I was born in and I want things to return to being <laughs> a free country where we don't have these people dictating our lives and what we can and can't do it's absolutely getting to be ridiculous that you know the situation keeps going on you know Somebody should be paying the price for spreading this virus in the first place, as far as I'm concerned. But um, anyway, I just wanted to give a quick video out that starting Friday, you can't sit in a restaurant. And that makes it really difficult for me because of, you know, not having a home now. And, you know, I need to get out and just be with some of the people that I know and if that's just being one time at a restaurant to talk to some people, then that's what I have to do. And uh, these people are making it extremely difficult to live our lives. It's very frustrating and maddening. And it's already been a painful year. And it's been painful to not be around my animals and birds anymore in my garden. And... Um, Anyway, I could go on and on about that, but I won't. Um, I just am going to have the strangest Thanksgiving and Christmas I ever have had. It's really weird not to be able to go home, not to go be with the one family member you were always with, you know, that loved you. And um, anyway, just... This is starting on Friday, so here we go again. I wanted to let everybody know that this is happening. It's happening in about 15 counties in Colorado, including mine, including my sister. And um, it's just really weird. Anyway, um, everybody's just trying to figure things out and trying to hang on to our faith and we know that all things work to good for those who love the Lord and I'm sorry I'm kind of <laughs> I'm kind of mentally in a weird space right at the moment but um, this was news to me today I I don't know what they'll do if the situation goes into the new purple zone because it's beyond the red zone and that I guess would be a complete shutdown of everything um, some of the restaurants you know they told me that they don't know how they're gonna make it so we are on the edge of you know just not knowing what's coming down the pike and I just pray to God that the Lord intervenes in this whole situation that's going on and that he draws us close to him. Um, anyway, that's what, just what I wanted to tell you tonight. And I will be back at some point. <laughs> Not tonight, but as soon as I make a new video. Okay, I'll talk to you a little bit later. Bye.